Hi, welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is Balakrishna. In this video, I am going to explain class 10 CBS syllabus chapter 1 real numbers. Okay, this syllabus is introduced in recently under this okay, 2024 to 25. Okay, first chapter exercise 1.2, second problem. So, first one already I explained in previous. Okay, prove that 3 plus 2 root 5 is rational. Sum can prove by using contradiction method. So, here, let us take, let us take 3 plus 2 root 5 is a rational number. So, rational number means what? A number which is in the form of P by Q. P and Q are integers, Q is not equal to 0. That is called rational number. Irrational number means what? A number cannot be right in the form of P by Q. Okay. Or non terminating non recurring decimal number is called irrational number. So here, you know that an irrational number is adding or subtract or multiply or divide with any rational number. It is become irrational number. Okay. So here, by using contradiction method, let us take 3 plus 2 root 5 is a rational number. So that is 3 plus 2 root 5 is equal to P by Q. So where P comma Q are integers. So Q is not equal to 0. Q is not equal to 0. Plus 3 is going to start up with minus. So 2 root 5 is equal to P minus Q. P by Q minus 3. So here 3 we can add as 3 by 1. So 2 root 5 is equal to P into 1 P. 3 into Q 3 Q by Q into 1 Q. 2 root 5 means 2 into root 5. 2 multiple. This multiple is going to start up and divide. So root 5 is equal to P minus 3 Q by Q by 2. So it is a numerator, it is a denominator. 2 can add as 2 by 1. 2 can add as 2 by 1. The denominator fraction is become reciprocal. So root 5 is equal to P minus 3Q by Q into 2 by 1 you can write as 1 by 2. So here 1 by 2. So that is P minus 3Q into 1. P minus 3Q by Q into 2, 2Q. So here root 5 is in the form of p by q here p q are integers so here root 5 is in the form of p by q so but root 5 is an irrational number we know that so therefore our assumption is wrong what is our assumption 3 plus root 2 root 5 is rational number so that is here root 5 is in p by q form we know that root 5 is irrational so root 5 is irrational so our assumption is wrong why our assumption is wrong what is our assumption 3 plus 2 root 5 is rational number so why it is wrong because an irrational number is adding or multiply or subtract or divide with any rational it is become irrational number so root 5 it is a irrational so the root 5 is uh, multiplied with 2 and adding with 3. 2, 3 are both are rational. So therefore, therefore 3 plus 2 root 5 is irrational. Is irrational. So therefore, hence root. Uh, next problem. Prove that the following are irrationals. First one, 1 by root 2. So here, 1 by root 2. Let us take, by using contradiction method, we can prove that 1 by root is irrational. So let us take, 1 by root 2 is a rational number. Is a rational. So that is, 1 by root 2 is equal to L by B. Where a, b are integers, b is not equal to 0. So a, b are belongs to integers, b is not equal to 0. So 1 by root 2 is equal to a by 2. So b divide, come to the left side of the pen, multiple. So 1 into b is equal to 
a into root 2 what into b b is equal a into root 2 a multiple come right side open left side open divide okay b by a is equal root 2 so here we can observe a b a b both are integers both are integers here root 2 is in the form of b by q but you know that root 2 is iteration okay so here here root 2 is in p by q form so here root 3 is in p by q form but we know that root 2 is irrational root 2 is irrational so our assumption is wrong so why our assumption is wrong because an iteration number is adding or multiply or divide with any number is irrational number. So therefore, 1 by root 2 is irrational. 1 by root 2 is irrational. 1 is irrational, root 2 is irrational. So 1 is divided by rational is divided by irrational, it become irrational. So therefore, hence true. Therefore, hence proof. Next, second one, seven to five. So let us take, let us take seven to five. Is a race now. Is a race now. So that is here. Seven to five is equal a by b. So a b r belongs to integers b is not equal to 0 so 7 root 5 means 7 into root 5 7 multiple when the third open divide so root 5 is equal a by b by 7 7 you can write as 7 by 1 so a fraction having the denominator it has become reciprocal so root 5 is equal a by b into 1 by 7 so a to 1 a b to 7 7 b so here a b are integers so therefore a by 7 b is a rational okay, nah? so here root 5 is in form of p by q so root 5 is in is in p by q form but we know that root 5 is irrational root 5 is irrational so here and it is number is multiplied with rational, it is become rational. 7 root 5, 7 into root 5. So, therefore, our assumption is wrong. Our assumption is wrong. So, what is our assumption? 7 root 5 is rational. So, therefore, 7 root 5 is irrational. So, therefore, hence prove. Therefore, hence prove. Okay. Next problem. Six plus root two. Six plus root two. Let us take six plus root two is a trace number. So that is six plus root two is equal a by b. A comma b are integers. B is belongs to integer. B is not equal to 0. So plus 6 going to solve it minus. So root 2 is equal to A by B minus 6. 6 you can add as 6 by 1. Now these two are fractions. That is A into 1 A minus 6 into B 6 B by B. So here observe A, B are integers. So then it is, a, is, it is in P by Q form. Here root 2 is in p by q form but we know that root 2 is irrational root 2 is irrational so root 2 is irrational so therefore our assumption is wrong why our assumption is wrong an irrational number is adding with rational it has become irrational number so root 2 is irrational because that so root 2 is adding to 6. So our assumption is wrong. 
So why? What is our assumption? Six plus root is rational. That is wrong. So therefore, six plus root two is irrational. Is irrational. So therefore, hence wrong. Therefore, hence wrong. Thank you for watching my videos. Please subscribe our YouTube channel and share with your friends. Thank you.